Welcome to the Accelerating Test Automation Platform demo. In short, the tool is called ATAP. ATAP is a test execution automation tool. This tool helps testers to automate their tests in simple English-like language. Let's take a look at the tool demonstration. The ATAP tool is built into the Eclipse IDE. To start, we need to create an ATAP project. When the project is created, we can see multiple folders within the project. Testers need to be concerned with the SRC folder only. Let's look at a sample test script to automate the booking of an airline ticket from Bangalore to New York on the travel booking website called Expedia.co.in. To automate a test script, ATAP needs two files, a test script file and a test object file. To create a test object file, we right click on the SRC folder and from the new options, select ATAP test object file. Enter a name of your choice and click finish. The object file opens with the keyword web page and an error symbol. This error symbol denotes the object file is incomplete. ATAP has automatic checks built in to ensure the completeness of the script written. The object file should consist of all the web objects from the web page or the website that the tester would want to automate. This is the Expedia website and the test script should first click on the flight tab followed by entering details in the source, destination and date fields and then click on the search button. At this point in the object file, when I click the shortcut keys control and space on the keyboard, the tool intuitively guides me to enter a custom name for my web page. The tool has an inbuilt feature which intuitively guides the user on the correct grammar usage for the script. At any point in the script, when you click the shortcut keys, control and spacebar on the keyboard, the most appropriate options will be presented to you. This makes it very easy for the testers to use the tool and greatly reduces their learning time. The next step is to create web objects for the flight tab and each of the text boxes. This is the web object for the flight tab. These object attributes can be identified using the Selenium IDE or the inspect option of a web browser. Similarly, I have created all the other web objects required for the script. Save the file. The next step is to create the test script file. To create a test script file, right click on the source folder and from option new, select ATAP test script file. Enter the name of your choice and click finish. Again, I will be using the shortcut keys control and space throughout the script. A script can start with two keywords, either given or when. Given is used to specify a precondition for a test script. For example, executing another test script present within the SRC folder. When is used to specify an action that would otherwise be performed by a tester on the web application. Here I choose when. After choosing when, the tool presents a list of options which could be chosen as the next set of actions. The next line, it prompts me to use the keywords then or and. Then is used to insert verification. And is a special case and can be used along with any of the earlier mentioned.
So here I'm clicking on the flight tab and one way buttons, entering details in the text boxes and clicking search. Next, let's enter verification. In ATAP, it is mandatory for every script to have verification. Without this, a script is considered incomplete and will not execute. There are multiple verification options present within ATAP. I should verify file. Option verifies if a downloaded file exists. The second option, I should verify that, verifies whether a particular web object exists, does not exist, is visible and other such conditions. The option I should verify the text in, verifies if the text in an object on the web page matches certain criteria. For example, if the text is an object contains a particular string. I should verify the page title verifies if the page title contains a particular string. Here I select the option I should verify that flight detail exists. I intend to verify that once the flight is booked the flight details are visible on the page. Click on save. The error symbol disappears. The script is now complete. Notice the English-like language of the script, which is easily readable and understandable. On clicking Save, the tool also generates the corresponding Java code for the English-like script just created. This Java code is created under the Source Gen folder. Here you see each of the English-like scripts have been converted to corresponding Java code. To run the script just created, right click on the script file and from the tools option select run test script. The test script has now started execution. As we have just seen, without any programming language experience, a test engineer can save time and effort by writing simple English-like scripts using best practices which also ensure easy maintenance. Thank you.